How's it going everyone, Pierce here, and today we are back with City Skylines. Um, it's been a while since the last episode, like quite a long time now actually. Um, and straight away, one issue we really need to address is this uh, traffic problem on the uh, big like motorway we have that goes through our city at the moment. And um, all of the traffic all the way down here seems to be building up to this um, central area or even uh, I think we call it East yeah, East Bank of the uh, river but yeah it's the like city center area which is understandable I suppose that there'd be a lot of traffic going into there but um, it looks like the bottleneck is at this roundabout and I'm not quite sure what we can do about it really um, because all of the cars are just building up here and I'm not sure why um, see these ones look like they must be trying to get over to this lane to go over to here or not maybe, maybe it's going to clear up now I don't know but still there is like a huge traffic problem here and I'm not sure what we can do about it um, yeah anyway we have n very little demand at the moment so I'm going to like leave that alone and then until we actually need it um, this industrial area they're all complaining about there not being enough buyers for products I'm not sure what we can really do about that for the moment all of these trees are dying because it's just like nothing but um, smoke going off into the atmosphere which is just destroying the trees but you know the trees are supposed to so cop carbon dioxide and it I, I guess it prevents it going into the air for everyone else which is good and um, it does look like that might be clearing stuff up slightly but there's no nah, there's still like, like a huge traffic issue here and they're all using this lane because they're all like going this way or this way on the roundabout um, so there's not much we can do about that um, unless we built like some sort of flyover but we don't really know where they're actually going at the moment so we'll leave that alone and um, put up to full speed and we could do with um, sorting out some public transport uh, so at the moment we have got a bus service over here and over here and over here that goes around there as well and um, we could we don't have any like trains operating I don't think um, no we don't so we could do with starting up like a metro system in the city center area so I think that's what we're gonna do um, where would be the here's a good place to build it and we kind of need to try and do this as strategically as possible so just kind of make a loop around the city I think and we can put one there along the seafront yeah, that's getting power now. Um, down there, and here, and in the middle here. Then out here, over here. right up in the corner then it'll go over to this like urban housing area
Uh, right, so draw some tunnel around here. Join it up over here and create a loop around this area of the city. Um, this up to here. And then this over to there and join this up into loop um, then join these into like a loop as well And then join this onto the existing system. Uh, so I think, yeah, we have to create a line for it to work. So just create this line. And then create another line up in this area of the city and we have a big power problem and we need to fix that. And I'm not sure why we've got a power problem. And then have a line that goes There we go. Uh, power. What is the issue here with power? We've actually got a deficit, so that is the problem. Uh, we haven't unlocked a nuclear power plant yet, so we're going to have to put some more of these windmills on our little wind farm up. Well, I say little, it's turning into a pretty big wind farm. And uh, I don't think the houses that are on the coast there are going to like it. But you know, if they want power, they just have to live with it. It's, you know, one of them choices you have to make in life. You either have a giant wind turbine outside your house like that, or you don't get to watch TV. Um, right, these are all complaining about nothing. Not enough goods to sell, and that's think down to the industry I don't even know anymore this is too confusing um, there's a lot of deaths or dead people waiting for transport um, what can we do about that because uh, it's all like oh hang on yeah this is why so we need to provide some service to these areas by building more of these little crematoriums. There we go. And in the deformed as well, they want they don't want bodies lying around in the deformed 
just like any other place wouldn't want dead bodies lying around. And in this kind of outskirt of town area where all of the houses are. And that should be good now. Uh, like dead people wise. Um, these are not having enough educated workers. Education is mostly is like it's servicing this area, but it doesn't look like they have any education down here. We'll put another one here just for good measure. Um, anywhere else it could do is education services in here and there and I don't think these actually need education because they're um, offices and stuff they don't I don't think so um, high schools high school availability isn't the best either so we'll build a high school there um, plenty of high schools here uh, there's a high school there so that'll be fine and then we don't need it here and university I'm not we did build a university over here and that services most of that area it didn't service any of this area though um, so we could do with a uni over here yes somewhere that'll do um, and it should be good for education then hopefully they won't be complaining anymore about education uh, over here we can there's more demand for industrial so we'll just build a little bit more offices two more things worth of offices and look they're upgrading they, they, they all seem to be upgrading at the moment because they're they've stopped complaining about the um, whole education thing. There's not enough customers there and there's not much we can really do about that. Rubbish um, over here. See we've got this big rubbish site over here but I don't think the garbage trucks like provide service for the whole area. It's a bit annoying kind of and we could probably do with a better system than just the garbage trucks using having to go all the way around the whole world just to get um, just to pick up the rubbish in the morning so we'll build a little rubbish truck road down here um, which will like let them get into this area quicker and it might help sort out these things here um, so yeah a lot of these guys are upgrading which is good just what we want and uh, yeah so I guess that's about it for this episode uh, I was thinking of making the City Skylines episode just a bit shorter because they, they can be quite boring I can imagine so um, I'm gonna try just try and see if they're better if they're like shorter episodes so uh, that's it here from me Pierce for now and this these buildings look really cool and they're futuristic -y like this so yeah, that's it here from me Pierce if you like this video give a like, if you didn't dislike and if you want to see more of these City Skylines videos then uh, comment below to say that you enjoyed them and you want to see more and also subscribe to my channel Pierce. So um, I'll see you next time, bye bye.